Lindsay Del Carlo, the trial garden manager for Renee's Garden Seeds. And today I want to show you different methods of sowing your homegrown tomatoes. And I'll go through growing them if you have a greenhouse. And also how to successfully grow your tomatoes if you don't have a greenhouse. And there's different types of containers you can use. I grow many varieties of tomatoes every year, so I like containers that hold a lot of different varieties. And I mostly use these plug trays which I get at my local nursery, and you can also find them online. And if you don't have plug trays, it's okay. Everyone has those Tupperwares that have lost their lids, and you can use them nicely as containers to grow your tomatoes. I always start with fresh potting soil. For tomatoes, I tend to use just potting soil for um, my seed medium um, rather than seed germination mix, which doesn't have any nutrients. Since tomatoes sprout pretty quickly and they like a lot of nutrients, I found that potting soil um, helps them grow more vigorously. And I fill the flat very loosely. I don't push anything down because you want plenty of air space in your soil. And if you push your soil down, you'll compact it too much. So I fill it loosely all the way to the top. And then brush off the excess. And clean off the edges. And take away my here. And then I just tap it down a little bit to settle the soil. And then with these plugs I just like to take my fingertips and make a little divot in each plug. That gives you a spot to put your seed and it won't bounce out of the plug. And I'm just doing this very lightly. Again, I don't want to compact the soil. And I have my packet of Renee's delicious organic brandy wine tomatoes. And then I just spill, you know, as simple as can be, I just spill the seeds out into my hand. Kind of space them out. And then I just grab the seeds one by one. And one seed per plug. Just put them right in the center. And again, the little divots I made, I didn't make them too deep because you want to sow tomato seeds pretty shallow. I mean, deep enough to when you water the seeds aren't going to float out of the plug and move around, but not so deep that they won't be able to push up through the soil when they germinate. So now I have my tomatoes sown one seed per plug and I'm going to take my soil and just very lightly put a really shallow layer of soil right on top. Just to barely cover the seed Still making sure they're pretty shallow and not buried too deep. So here I am, I'm bringing my plug tray into the greenhouse. So this is a pretty professional setup we have here with the greenhouse and the heat mats. It's always good to put your tomatoes on heat because they love heat to germinate. Heat is the catalyst that they need to germinate and grow vigorously. And these heat mats I have on a thermostat and they're set to 80 degrees. So when it cools off, the thermostat causes the heat mat to turn on and so it'll keep my seeds in it even 80 degrees. I put it on the heat mat and then I'm gonna water in my flat. So I start up my little water runs gently. I always start it up away from the tray first so I can get the 
the pressure right. So very gently you want to water in and make sure you're not flooding the plug so that the seeds float up out of it. But then also water very thoroughly so you saturate the soil completely. If you want to grow tomatoes and you don't have plug trays, it's okay. We also recommend you can use any kind of recycled containers that are shallow and wide. This is just like a to-go container from the store. This is just a Tupperware that's lost its lid and I poke holes in the bottom for drainage. This was a container with ground chicken in it. Or you can use, this is just a milk quart that I cut in half and poked holes in it. Yogurt containers. These are all great things to use if you want to sow tomatoes. When you use your recycled containers, you just want to make sure that you poke holes in the bottom for drainage. If you don't have a greenhouse to grow your tomatoes, you can still successfully grow them if you have a sunny south facing window. You can see I have my little recycled containers set up here in the window and they get pretty much all day sun with a south facing window. If you don't have a sunny south facing window to grow your tomatoes, you can always set up a grow light structure for your tomatoes. All of our packets always recommend to provide a strong light source for your tomatoes and this is what we mean, either a sunny greenhouse environment, a south facing window, or grow lights. When our tomato plugs are mature and they're ready to pot up, um, we'll come back and make another video and show you how to do that. So you can find many wonderful tomato varieties on reneesgarden.com and you can grow your own. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.